Hello dear, in this tutorial series, I would like to share my experience with OptiSystem in terms of short tutorial videos. Starting with basic topics I will cover some advanced features of OptiSystem. Go to the start, then all apps. Scroll down to the OptiWave software. And you'll see some menu. I would suggest you to make some shortcuts of Opti System Components Library. Application and Tutorial Volume 1 and 2 PDFs. Also pin the Opti System application to taskbar. That is frequently used. Now let us open this Opti System. I am having top this OptiSystem version 13 license dongle. So this is the graphical user interface. It consists of various sections. This portion is for creating, opening, copy paste. Here the layout configuring. Some edit functionality. With the later videos one by one will be explained. Here is the components library, you will find all the components that will be required for any type of optical system design. There's another way to find the component. Right click click here. Click find components, then you can type whatever the component you need. You can see that there are two options select any word or all word. If you select any word, and entering multiple words in the search box, this will show search results separately. And if we use select the all words to select all the words and it will show only the components that have all of these. From the suggested search results, double click on the desired component. This will route you to the component in the library on the left hand side. The project browser tab will be explained later while doing examples. No, let us start with a simple design. Click in the, new icon, and you can see the design layout. One can adjust the layout size from here. You know, all the communication system consists of a transmitter, a channel and a receiver. Go to the components library, here you can find the required component. and drag it onto the layout like this. You can also add any components to the favored folder to find it easily the next time. Here, I am showing my favored folder. It contains some other components which I added previously following the same procedure. Here one can adjust the layout properties. Let us consider the previous layout where I added the PRBS generator. Now, we need to generate the electrical pulse for the bits. You can use any kind of electrical pulse depending on your design. Now we need an optical carrier generator or an optical source. Drag into the layout. In the same way an optical modulator, here I am using the basic single drive mock zender modulator. The same process for channel and receiver.
for the qualitative analysis, we can use the BER analyzer. See the components description from the components PDF that we made shortcut at the starting. Save the file with any name and run the simulation like this. This is the eye diagram and we can see various distortions or noise present in it. Next step is to optimize the component properties. You can also see the bitrate for the system. Now again run the simulation. Here we can see a better constellation. This is because we optimized some of the component parameters. We can also observe some other parameters in the BER analyzer. Thank you for watching, let's meet in the next tutorial. Like share and subscribe to my channel.